My name is Christine Marquette and I'm a registered dietitian with the Austin Regional Clinic and I'm going to talk to you about how to eat healthy at the melting pot. Now the melting pot is a fondue restaurant so fondue in and of itself is high in fat so this type of restaurant should really be used as a treat it's not something that you want to make a habit of going to regularly because the vast majority of the choices are very high in fat and therefore very high in calories and the primary source of fat is saturated fat and excess saturated fat really can increase your cholesterol levels so the melting pot again should be used just as a treat something that you go to occasionally but not something that's on your list of restaurants to go to on a regular basis one of the first ways to try and eat healthy there is to limit how many courses you choose they have up to four courses the first one is a cheese fondue the second is a salad the third is the entree fondue and then it ends with a chocolate fondue all of the cheese fondues because they are made with cheese are going to have a lot of saturated fat of these the lowest fat one would be the Swiss option so that could be an option if you're choosing a cheese fondue the salads all of the salads have lots of cheese on them so again even though they're a salad they have cheese as well in large quantities so the salad if you do get that at least for the dressing choose something like a vinaigrette that's not going to add even more saturated fat it will be an unsaturated fat that you're adding to it if you're going to have the entree you do have some better options with the entree because you can actually choose as far as the cooking method you can choose to prepare your entree fondue without added fat they have a couple of options where you're actually either just using uh, something like a vinaigrette or a wine to cook your entree in so that is a good option when you when you are choosing the entree and then for the dessert as far as the chocolate fondue the healthiest chocolate option would be the dark chocolate variety thing to keep in mind again you don't want to get all four courses try to get only one or two at the max three so for example you may consider starting out with the salad have your entree end with the chocolate or if you're really a cheese lover you could start with the cheese and skip the dessert the best thing to do would be to only have two things maybe the salad and the entree the, that would be your actual healthiest option because again with the salad even though there is still a lot of added cheese on there it's a little bit easier to limit how much of that cheese that you're consuming because you're not dipping anything there there's an easier method of moving some of your cheese off to the side so those are just a few tips for how to eat healthy at the melting pot